All right, like I promised, here are the velocity tests for the Dan Wesson CO2 8-inch BB revolver. I have my chronograph set up. My target right there. I'm just going to be shooting at the box just to get readings. Let's turn on the chrony. It's on. Now I'm going to put in a fresh CO2, just so you guys know. I already put my drop of oil on it. I'm just going to put it in. So there it is. It's in. All right. Now I'm going to set the camera right there, so you can kind of see target and the velocities. And I have a piece of paper here. Well, I will record the velocity, the shot, the high, the low, the average, and the difference of all the velocities. And we're going to see what we get. So again, I have the Dan Wesson right here, ready to shoot. Now, this is post-modification. This is after I adjusted the spring and after you guys probably checked out that video on how to adjust the Dan Wesson uh, spring with the hammer. All right, so here goes the first shot. Let's see what we get for the first velocity. I'm just gonna move the camera back, it's kinda in the way. Here we go. All right, that's the first shot. I'm gonna put it on pause. I'm gonna wait five minutes to be fair to allow the CO2 to kinda of heat back up. And we're gonna see what we get for a second shot. So I'm gonna put the camera on pause, be back in five minutes. All right, that was the first shot at 486 feet per second. Now here's the second shot. I waited about five or six minutes. Again with the Dan Wesson right there. If you can see that. Here comes the second shot. Alright, that second shot reads 489 feet per second, so I'm going to write that down, wait about 5 minutes, and come back and take a third shot. Alright, that was the second shot, here's the third one right now. Again, I am inside right now, it's about 70 degrees inside, so whatever velocities, you know, that you're, that you're seeing right now, you might want to, you know, add a few more feet per second to that if you're shooting in like 85 degree weather. Uh, right now it's the fall, so that's what you're going to get. But here's the third shot. Alright, that is at 497 feet per second. Uh, with, what I've noticed with this gun is that it does, um, it's different than other CO2 guns. Like the first shot normally is the highest shot, but for this one, as you can see, it's steadily increasing, which I think is interesting and it's also pretty cool. I mean, after the modification. Uh, so again, this is these are the velocities with, with the modification. And I'm going to wait another five minutes and going to take the fourth shot. All right, hold on. All right, that was the third shot at 497 feet per second. Here's the fourth one coming up. All right, that's at 483.2 feet per second. Gonna write that down, pause it, come back again five minutes later, and we'll see what we get. All right, here comes the fifth shot.
All right, that's at 497.2 feet per second. So the velocity is uh, pretty consistent, you know, with the fresh CO2. Um, you know, obviously if you, if you wait, you know, a little while in between, you know, rapid fire, obviously, you, with any CO2 pistol, you'll see the velocity gradually go down by a lot. Um, but if you wait, you know, if you're patient, you know, wait even a few seconds between each shot, and you, you'll get pretty consistent velocity. So that was the fifth shot, and that's that's the highest, and I'm already five shots in. Uh, believe it or not, the second lowest shot was the first shot, which is supposed to be the most powerful. So just to get, let you know, get a sense of the Dan Wesson gun, uh, that's what it does. Um, it's kind of a interesting gun. Um, it's got very consistent velocities, and of course the 8-inch barrel for high velocities. All right, so I'm gonna wait another five more minutes and take the final sixth shot. The yeah, sixth shot, excuse me, and. Um, We'll see what we get, then I'll calculate everything, find out what the highest one was, the average one, and the lowest one. All right, hold on one second. All right, guys, so I waited five minutes, and here's the sixth shot. Whoa, all right, finally broke 500. 501.8, and that is a six shot. Yeah, so it, it's been getting higher as we go along. Um, I wish I did a recording uh, when I first chronographed this. I hit 505.2 was the high, and I also hit 502.8 about three times, and so I had consistently high 400s um, for quite a while until I started losing uh, velocity in my shots, about 50, 60 shots. So I think is really good. So that's five. You're looking at it right now, 501.8 with the Dan Wesson, eight inch CO2 metal BB pistol. Of course, I waited five minutes to, just to be fair, so we can get consistent velocities. And it's only 70 degrees in here. If it was 85, who knows? That might be a lot higher. That could be in the low 500s, maybe mid. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. So I'm going to pause this, uh, find the calculations, and I will show you the data. All right. Thanks. All right, guys, so here's a summary of the Dan Wesson 8-inch CO2 BB revolver. So shot 146, shot 2, 489, shot 3, 497, and on and on and on. We had a high velocity of 501.8 feet per second, a low velocity of 483.2 feet per second. That was at shot 4. And the average velocity of 492.4 feet per second with a difference of 18.6 feet per second. And I used these Crossman copperhead BBs, 177 caliber or four and a half millimeter. Um, you can use any steel BB in this gun, I'm sure it'll work just fine. I like the cross and copperheads because they're pretty accurate. Uh, I like this gun a lot. Um, I'm sure if I kept shooting, because you can see they're increasing, I'll probably get in the mid 500s. Well, not mid, that's probably too exa exaggerated. Maybe in the five, the highest probably a 510, which I think is really good for this gun. Uh, even in, considering it's only 70 degrees, if it was like 80 degrees, it'd be a lot higher. So that's my review, the chronograph results, and I hope you like it. And please post and comment, or and please like and subscribe. And for more videos of, I have a Beretta PX4 Storm I'm going to review, give you some velocity tests with that, and a lot of more guns to come. All right, thanks guys. Uh, post and like below and subscribe. Thanks.